be expecting anything else new. Bjergsen actually is running Teleport himself, and unless that gets changed, uh, we'll actually... It's been a little bit less common, I feel like, this split. A lot of people are playing... He's a minion or monster away from a jungler. Not diveable. He holds the push that Jensen put in. As Bjergsen already TP'd back in. Oh, Impact gets stunned up, misses the taunt as well. Now damage on a Haunter. Will Meteor score for the Flash knockup? I don't think he's gonna be... Yeah, he will go for it, but here comes the Sven Scare in the Nidalee coming in. Nice dodge zone comes up, though. Impact not taking any damage from his Q right now. Burns the cooldown on that one. And another knockout coming through onto the Nidalee. Still chasing through, getting damage back and forth. Here comes Aureli onto that one. Dodging away from the ton. A beautiful flash by Sven Skirin. And now Impact is very alone. Bomb on him. First blood goes through to Hauntzer. Not play that well. He misses the initial taunt very badly. Uh, they decide to chase for it. And Jensen's getting chased down here in the middle. Biofrost has made the rotation. And he's, ooh, nice dodge in the queue. Jensen, actually the best possible pickup for them. Good of them to prioritize, and there we go. Despite the fact you see how far back he played from the turret, had the spidey sense to know he might be getting attacked. Jensen dodges one bomb, trades back into Bjergsen. Actually, a minion betrays him and pulls the damage in. And Jensen had to flash away because Hanser is now here. There's a Q in from Nidalee, and it's probably going to be the kill. Oh, and there he goes. Nice one picked up. Ulti by Bjergsen to keep himself alive. And a second nails the spear over the wall, picks up another kill for his team. They, get, they know it. They don't have the vision in place. Uh, do not have way. Meteos kills that off with the red buff, though, and he does get the wolves. Jensen does get double bombed into the queue, into everything. He's just going to get blown up. The Bartley not meaning enough. There's Bjergsen getting another kill, taking down Jensen. 3-0 the scoreline now. Bunny forced to run away as well. The TSM continually finding advantages. Once they come back up, we may see them Start heading to that bottom side of the map. Meanwhile, on the bottom side of the map, nice flash by Hans away from the Q, but it's not really gonna mean too much. Gets this done, a nice top flash does this time land, and the dash just won't mean enough. Finally, a kill on the board for our turret. Certainly a good trade. TSM can be happy about that one. Even if it does hurt me right here. And there's a nice Bartle to buy a bit more time because here comes the teleport. Oh. It's C9 trying to join in. He's gonna get the taunt on his fence, scare and a stun and a bile frost as well. Turret still goes down, but now it's time for the team fight. As in comes the battle. Ulti across the top and down goes Impact without ever using his ultimate himself. But now Sneaky trying to find a bit more damage. Bile frost low, landing is slow himself though. I don't care. Like, he'll just revive, and you wasted kind of more cool As long as they keep gold relevant, but Spencer Aaron got a face check here. And there's the Ash Arrow. No one's in range yet to save him, trying to jump away. There's Bjergsen, and doesn't even have to pop the ulti. Reflex is good enough to know that there was no damage left coming in for C9. A nice attempt, of course, but Sneaky pops the ulti. Ooh, good dodge by Double to get away, but now Bunny's gonna be low. He's gonna jump over the wall. Here's the ulti in, never mind it for this one. And Double is getting the revive mark on himself. Meteos, dangerously low, will get popped down. First kill picked up, and the revive comes through all the same. Bjergsen doesn't really do anything there. A double kill in for Double Lift on the Lucian. C9 can't get anything done. Now, finally, a kill in through for Impact. Takes support, still dies down. And TSM will pick up the Baron and really crack this game. He not long for the world. And there's the pickup. Two Mountain Drakes, TSM. And they'll yep. even get more to do now. Arrow's going to miss Sneaky under a lot of threat, but at least there's three here. The stop down Haunter, and they will knock him down. Bjergsen smartly cancels, but still the red buff damage was enough. Done Bunny, but it wasn't going to be enough. Mid lane outer finally goes down 28 minutes in. Another jungle. Mid lane tier two gone as well. TSM just in. Blocks a bit of the damage. More zoning bombs. The turret still does go down. And now Meteos forced to run away. Culling is on. Double bomb hits and it stuns Sneaky. Oh, a betrayal of his friend. That's going to be a kill picked up already. Meteos low. Bit of a stun coming across. Bunny now caught up as well. That should be an easy one. And they pick up that second kill after all. Third actually. Bunny, Sneaky, and Impact. All three are dead. And TSM can make this one happen. Another one picked up. Jensen is gone still. Flash available. Does not seem to matter. This could be the entire or a double and hit, but they may try to just end it. Looks like that's the plan. Hauntzer tanking up the turret right now. Both of them, in fact, they just get revived by Zealand. Didn't have to use it during the prior fight, and there goes turret number one. Medio very alone, running back, and he's still gonna go down. There's the ace. Biofrost gets a heal, stays alive. Oh, what a nine for him. And TSM in a 30-minute game, 13 to three on the scoreboard, in control the entire time. Wow. You the chance from the crowd, yeah. Keeping on to that number one spot with a win in game one over Cloud9. We talk about TSM coming out wanting to prove that they are the best team, the undisputed best team in North America. Well, good step in that direction. Yeah. Manhandling Cloud9 in game one. But it's not over. It is that best of three. And Cloud9 will have their chance to come back. Yeah, they definitely will.